I bought this observation hive uh, from Man Lake. It's a five frame nuke box converted into an observation hive. But I think it'll work well. Uh, my wife is helping in the leadership of a youth camp uh, for girls this week and my daughter's gonna be there too. And so uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to take this observation hive. They want me to do a presentation on bees. And so I just ordered this thing from Man Lake. It's well built, I think it seems to be. It's basically just a standard nuke box on the bottom with the observation portion on top. Uh, you see all these latches right here, it latches down. Basically you take a nuke of bees and you put them in here, five frames, because they may be in here for a little while. I got this feeder. Uh, for the bees to feed on it'll also replace the space of the frame that i remove to put in here so you put the the bees in here you can allow them to come and go if you want you can just open up the entrance right here in the meat box or you can close them in which of course that's what you'll do before you go to the presentation before you do the presentation you move a frame of bees up you put it in here like this got a lot of latches there's a frame rest right here. You can put it down on. Put that frame with the queen in there. And of course, you put the lid on. And then, with that frame in there and the bees all safely secured, you can just remove these sliders right here. And it reveals the frame with the bees and the queen on it. There's actually also a queen excluder section right here. So the queen can't get down. So she'll stay up top for the kids to see. So now remember the bees are in this pro nuke here, transferred into the bottom portion of the observation hive, which is basically just a five frame nuke. Let's set this box down here. Ooh, it's getting heavy. Put this box right here. They have definitely progressed. They've been just staying like on two frames of comb, but man, they have built it out just in the last week or so. Queen is right there. I'm actually gonna mark her if I can. Real careful here. She is just doing a great job. Okay, I wanted to mark her because we're down at this camp. I want the girls to be able to find her easily. So all I'm gonna do is simply transfer the frames from that hive into this one. I wanna show you this other side though right here. Look at this. Look at that brood. These bees have just exploded literally in the last week, I think. Maybe two. They are back filling that with some honey. This frame right here, eggs and brood. Lots of brood right there. She has just been busy. <clears throat> Um, too. It's really heavy, but this side is all brewed. When we get back from this camp down there in a couple days, I might just need to put these bees in a 10 frame box. I'm drawing out that comb on both sides. They got a little work to do. They're putting nectar all in here from that tallow flow we have going. This is actually in my backyard here in Dothan. We live in a suburb and a little subdivision, but there are tallow trees just everywhere. Just gonna leave them in here. The queen is marked uh, tomorrow morning. My plan right now is to come out and pull the frame with the queen on it. I'm gonna try and make sure I have a frame that has, you know, brood and the different aspects of a hive on it and pull it up into the top observation area and make sure the queen's in there. Now this observation hive has little vents on the back here, on the front, and the observation hive has several vents. So I should be able to get some good ventilation. So I'm just gonna use this lid right here. It's just one of my, top slash bottom boards that can be used as an upper entrance or as a bottom entrance. I'm gonna take this and gently slide it forward. I'm gonna turn it upside down here so they don't have an upper entrance. Kind of get them trained to that bottom entrance there. We'll let these bees get used to their new nuke here and uh, then we'll check back when I go to uh, take the next step. It's the next morning and I'm about to take these bees over to the camp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find the frame that has the queen on it. I wanna make sure that it's a frame that has kind of some brood on it, some eggs, maybe some different things the kids can see. And I'll make sure she's on a frame like that. And then I'm gonna put her up into this top part right here. If you look down in there, you can see there's a queen excluder. So we put the frame in here, the queen can't go down, but the rest of the bees can. And then these things right here slide up, these little doors, so the kids can observe what's going on. 
on that frame. It's kind of cool. Maybe they'll be nice this morning. They were pretty nice yesterday afternoon when I got them in this different box right here. So now I need to find the frame that has the queen on it. Real easy. So far they're being really nice. It would be awesome if she was on the perfect frame so I didn't have to try and transfer her to a different one. That's a, that would be a good one there to have her on. Oh wow, that's a brood right here. So I think once I find her, I'm going to try and put her on this frame. We've got honey all around the edges here. We've got lots of brood and then we also have some nectar. Filling, they're kind of back a little bit and some pollen around the edges. So that might be a good one to put in here. It's my first time doing this, so if it seems like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because, well, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But I think it's pretty logical. Mm, this one might be a little better. There's eggs and larvae. I think I'm going to put her on this one, actually, because we got brood right there. Don't really have any pollen on this frame. We got eggs and larvae. I don't know. Which should I take? A little pollen around the edges there. I think I'm going to put her on this one. Really, any of them would probably be fine. I'm going to go ahead and set it down in here. And when I find the queen, I'm just going to release her in there. This frame right here would be good too. We just got all kinds of good frames here. Plenty of resources in this hive. They're doing good. Yesterday I marked her, so she should be easy to see. I haven't seen her yet though. Where is Queenie? She's playing hard to get, hard to find. There she is. Hopefully you can see her right in that bottom corner. White dot, she's right there. The white dot walking, working along the frame. She's a beautiful big queen. I'm just gonna drop this frame down in there and just be done with it. Uh, very careful that I don't smash her. She's near the top, which is actually good. She is safely in there. So now I'm just gonna get these frames. I'm gonna move them over like this. I actually have this right here. Hopefully it'll fit in there. I'm not gonna put any food in it because this time of the year, these bees, they've got plenty of honey in there, plenty of resources. I don't think I need to feed them, but it will take up space. It's more of a spacer in here than anything else. Whoop, little bee was getting on me. So now we want to set this on there nice and gentle, nice and easy. Do all the latches. These latches have little pins I'm going to put in there too to make sure they don't come undone in root. All right, it's done now. The bees are happily going in and out of there entrance down there. The bees are up here in the observation portion with the queen. I'm just going to take this little section right here, put it on top, and we'll clip them in like that. And in the morning, I'll probably go out pretty early and close off the entrance so they cannot escape. And then for the presentation tomorrow morning, I can just pull up these little doors. You can see the bees in there on both sides. Got a good combination of brood. We got some honey in the corners. We got a little bit of pollen, just a little bit of everything in there, and a good number of bees. Isn't that cool? All right, here's our setup down here at camp. So that's what this is. This is what we call a five frame nuke box on the bottom. It's a standard nuke box. 
Well, how it's adjusted is they've made this top portion right here. It's an observation portion. And I'm gonna pull these up in a minute. It's got glass in here where you can look at the active hive. It actually has a queen excluder between this box and that one. So the queen is above, so she can't get down there. So you'll be able to see her if you look hard enough. She's got a white dot on her. I put some white paint on her. So you'll be able to see her right on, the, right on her neck. You'll be able to see um, that queen in there. So I'm gonna kind of turn it right, just right here. I'm gonna move it to the front of the table. They can't get out. I've got them shut in, got them sealed in. When I put the bees in here, yes, uh, when I put them in here, there's a little entrance right here. I've been, they've been going in and out of here just like it was our hive. But this morning before I left home, I closed this off so they can't leave. They, they, they cannot escape. I also have here, I have some honey sticks, honey straws, if y'all like honey. I'm gonna set them right over here. Y'all can just take one and see what the honey tastes like. So let's open this up. Y'all can take a look. Oh, hi. Y'all can take a look, see if you can find the queen. They can't get out. She's got a white dot. We're out here at Honey Hill Farm. I was out here yesterday and noticed that the uh, there were a couple of dud outs. I knew about that one already, replaced it, and then I think this is a perfect spot for the observation hive. I think it's plenty strong enough to go ahead and move in a full size box. So we're just gonna put them right here where this dead out was. I think it'll be perfect. I just released the bees and I think they're ready to be released. They came flying out of there pretty quick. You can see them down there moving around on the front of the box. So I'm gonna try to get them transferred. I'm gonna try and do it without smoke. I'm gonna try to do it without getting suited up. Uh, they're probably a little angry right now, a little active and agitated. So we'll see how this goes. First frame I'm gonna take off is gonna be the one in the top with the queen on it. I may just let them fly around for a minute. I think they're ready. What do you think? Look at them coming out. They've been trapped in for several hours. Fortunately, this observation hive has a pretty good ventilation system, I think, so I think they've been fine, but I'm sure they've had enough. It really went well today. If you're gonna do any kind of presentation about bees, I'd recommend you get one of these things. You might hear the helicopters above. There's a Airfield nearby, this is the uh, military's helicopter training area, Fort Rucker. So this right down in the middle. Kind of lift this off. I'll set it right here for a minute. It's so hot. I think I'm gonna keep the brood nest together in the middle and just see what they do. I don't think I'm going to checkerboard these. We've got a whole bunch of bees in this hive. They're going to be fine. It's going to get reestablished here in this area. Let's sit them like that and find their new home. Oh, 
I think they're gonna be fine. It's gonna be a nice solid hive. Before we wrap it up here, I'd appreciate it if y'all would hit the like button if you like what you see. The bees are circling around. They're getting reoriented to their new uh, location here, their new hive. They have been through a lot, but I imagine very quickly they'll be back to work going out and doing what bees do. I think it's a really good spot for bees. It has been in the past. I would highly recommend getting some sort of an observation hive. If you're gonna do presentations about bees, it really made a difference today. I think the kids really enjoyed it and it really brought home what it's like inside a beehive. They were able to see the queen and see the bees working and doing their thing. So I think I'm gonna get back American just to truck and take off. Y'all take care and be safe. Uh, stay tuned, more to come. This video is sponsored by Laura Bees. If you're in the market for a high quality oxalic acid vaporizer, you should check out LauraBees.com.